I'm uh, Gendy Tartakovsky. I'm the creator and director of uh, Primal. And I'm Scott Wills, the art director on Primal. The show is about this caveman and this dinosaur, and they, they meet in the most tragic way, and they both share this bond. And they kind of journey through this horrific, primordial land, trying to survive. Oh, there's no dialogue. So, uh, 10 episodes, no dialogue. When we were doing the last season of Samurai Jack for Adult Swim, the response was the strongest for all the nine dialogue sequences, where people just really love that kind of visceral storytelling style. And then I was thinking like, oh yeah, what if we just have a whole half hour of that? So visually, we wanted it to be sophisticated and, uh, and moody. Yeah, I mean, I think we're really going for a fantasy look a, a based on Frank Frazetta or, or a kind of a heavy metal tone, much more adult and serious and intense. It sets up a mood, right? And that's the biggest thing from animation that we forget to do sometimes is just get a mood. And sometimes a mood is enough, you know, if you're successful. And so that's what we tried to do, is just set up this vibe and, and take your time. You watch the speed of everything now is so fast and it's so in your face that this is complete opposite of that. The episodes build as they go. It starts off more natural with the, or the, the basic things like disease or you know, starvation, but then it builds into more fantasy and more creatures that are more fantastic. And so it, it gets more into that pulpy uh, Conan uh, fantasy thing as the, as the episodes go. Another part is there's a horror aspect to it. So some episodes is like a, are like a horror movie. I think that's the one thing about this show that nobody really knows what's coming, is that it's really kind of more sophisticated storytelling, or we're attempting to do, you know, with no dialogue, and, uh, and you feel this emotion and emotionality to it. It's gonna, the show's gonna catch people by surprise. Of course, music is uh, so important and key in the storytelling and in communicating the emotions in the show. And I'm really fortunate again to work with uh, Tyler Bates along with Joanne Higginbottom, who we've had a history of working together since the Symbionic Titan days. It took us a little bit of time to find the sound because you want something unique and different and almost like, you know, like everything else with this show, you want it to be raw and, and primal. Uh, we always turn back to that idea. And I think initially we kind of started more classical, but it just wasn't working. It, it didn't line up with the way the visuals looked and felt. So we go for this kind of uh, raw sound, try to be, it's complex, but it's still very, very simple. And a lot of percussion, uh, guitar, some electrical elements or distorted elements. The other key element of the sound design is the sound effects. <laughs> and the sound effects are created by Joel Valentine. And Joel and I have worked since Two Stupid Dogs together through Dexter, Harp of Girls. And Joel's amazing because he really understands when I make a sound effect, he understands what I mean. You know, so if I go a uh, or doink, he knows exactly what that is. And so stylistically, we're very much in tune, so it makes it so easy. And it's awesome because Joel's really into what he does, and so he, cr he loves to create new sounds. His biggest challenge was a creating a voice for Fang. And so for her, I know he uses everything from chickens and animals and all this stuff, and there's actually not as much maybe line roaring and, as you would think. Um, and so he creates all this unique sound for the creatures and as well as for her dialogue. Because even though the show doesn't have words, it does have dialogue, really, where just in a different language, you know. And so as much as Joel creates her dialogue, we have Aaron LaPlante, who provides the voice of Spear. <laughs> what he had 
And what I really try to find in my voice actors is a natural sense of timing and sincerity in his voice and delivery. And even though he's yelling and kind of grunting, there's still a lot of acting to it. And it's so important to get the cadence right, the emotion right, the feeling of it. Especially because there's so little of it. In this case, a little says a lot. Okay. <clears throat> You're welcome. One of the most fun things is uh, Studio Le Cachet. That's our, the studio that's doing the animation. And, uh, and they're, they're home based, they're from France. Bonjour, moi c'est Julien Cheng. Je suis producteur exécutif sur Gandhi Tartakovsky's Primal et aussi euh, directeur de l'animation pour le studio La Cachette. Je m'appelle Camille de Knif et je travaille en layout sur Primal. You know, I never knew him, I never met him, so I just wrote them an email and not knowing if they're busy or anything. It was just like a shot in the dark. Et donc nous on est tombé de notre chaise parce que euh, voilà, Gandhi est une rockstar de l'animation. The whole time I'm saying you'll never get a French right. student. <laughs> no way. No way. Gandhi nous a envoyé à ce moment-là son l'animatique de son premier épisode en noir et blanc. Voilà, on a vu 20 minutes d'animatique et on s'est dit, OK, c'est une série qui ressemble à aucune autre. C'est cinématographique, c'est dramatique. Il y a ce recul, cet, cet humour ou cette tendresse qu'on peut avoir pour les personnages. C'est quelque chose qu'on veut faire parce que ça correspond à notre envie de, au studio d'être euh, sur des projets narratifs. But it's exciting because it's like you're getting this fresh talent. They're super into it. They want to give it the best, you know, like it's not a job for them yet. You know what I mean? And it's, it's a very different mentality because this isn't a job for us. You know, I think 90% of what we do is because we want to do it. And what we've always asked the director with whom we work is to know how to draw. We find that a director who can draw, who can do his corrections in the drawing directly in the plan, it doesn't make us lose a lot of time rather than to have emails and emails of notes. So Gandhi has said that it's great, but I'm going to draw too. Je veux rentrer dans les plans, donc ce process me convient tout à fait. Gandhi fait tout, vraiment tout. Et c'est impressionnant comment il arrive à vraiment rentrer dans chaque plan d'animation ou de layout et faire ses corrections sur chaque modèle, refaire des animations s'il y a besoin. Enfin, c'est... On n'a jamais connu ça, nous, chez un réalisateur. We have this very unique situation where the story and the show is based around animation. And so you need a studio to really fully animate it, you know, because of no dialogue. Everything comes from the visuals. D'un point de vue purement technique, j'ai pas de dialogue, c'est vachement intéressant quand on fait de l'anime. Ouais, ça économise un, un paquet de temps et puis euh, c'est bien, c'est plus simple. Ça se permet de se, se concentrer exclusivement sur l'acting. Ça j'aime bien. Même s'il n'y a pas de dialogue, on a toute une psychologie qu'on essaye de mettre en image. Donc on a vraiment l'impression quand même de faire. Euh, de faire une série dialoguée, alors que c'est vrai, il y a zéro dialogue. <rire> J'adore le titre Primal parce que, en fait, ça définit vraiment tout, tous les choix artistiques même qu'on fait sur la série. C'est que c'est une série qui est sur l'essence de ce que c'est que la, la vie, la survie. J'ai ai beaucoup aimé Primal dès le début, mais je ne en fait, me suis jamais tellement posé la question de savoir pourquoi. Je me suis dit que graphiquement, c'était un challenge. Il n'y a pas très longtemps, je me suis demandé si ça me parlait au-delà de ça. Et je pense qu'en fait, Primal, c'est juste la pierre à tout perdu. Et à partir de ce moment-là, qu'est-ce qu'on fait Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire quand on estime qu'on n'a plus rien Est-ce qu'on se laisse abattre Est-ce qu'on part dans, dans la vengeance pure Est-ce qu'on va devenir fou Ou est-ce qu'on euh, essaie de se reconstruire derrière Est-ce que c'est la fin de la vie maintenant Ou est-ce que ça peut, ça peut continuer C'est vrai que le, le, le projet est très, très beau. Et je pense notamment euh, à Christian Shellwald qui fait tous les... Le trait des décors, magnifique, euh, très épuré. Et ensuite, Scott Wills qui apporte toute cette palette de couleurs et, et cet esprit euh, peint et traditionnel qui est très beau, en fait, esthétique pour un projet aussi violent et brutal et, et euh, primaire. J'espère que toute la sueur et l'énergie qu'on a pu mettre dans l'animation vous aura plu. It's never thinking about our limitations. 
it's always thinking about what's the best quality and what's amazing to watch.